the cane toad is a significant threat to our native wildlife. When ingested by one of its predators, the poisonous cane toad has the potential to kill. Crocodiles, snakes and goannas are all at risk from this feral species. Cane toads can be found across northern Australia and are on their march towards western Australia. They can survive in many different habitats but must have water to breed. The cane toad's a prolific breeder when you compare them to native frogs. They can lay up to 35,000 eggs in one breed and they can breed twice a year so it's quite a significant amount of eggs in one sitting. The eggs are jet black in colour and they're laid in long thin strands of jelly and they're quite obvious in the pools of water as they'll bunch together. To kill these eggs you just need to take them out of the water with a rake or a stick and then lay them in the sun and this will kill them. Cane toads are toxic so should be handled with care. The source of the toxins is the poison glands on the back of its neck. Use plastic shopping bags or gloves when collecting and always wash your hands thoroughly when you are finished. The most humane method to kill them is to put them in the fridge for an hour before leaving them in the freezer overnight. Managing the cane toad problem is essential for the protection of our native wildlife. Northern Territory Government is concerned about cane toads because of their effect on native wildlife. The northern quoll is one species that particularly likes eating cane toads and it will kill them, unfortunately. So the Northern Territory Government has been taking quolls out to some of the offshore islands where there aren't any cane toads and we're hoping that this will help keep the population safe for the future. The Northern Territory Government also provides funding to community groups to help control the spread of cane toads.